Hi, this is Ron Martin of ronmartblog.com, and I'm going to do one consolidated video here using Lightroom 4.3, and I'm going to show you how to print with a few various Epson printers and luster paper. So, first thing you want to do in the oops, excuse me in the uh, module here, print module, is go to page setup and set your correct printer and set your correct paper. And I'm going to pick up where I left off from my Photoshop videos, so you can watch those if you need to. But uh, key thing to remember: hover over these, and it'll show you a tooltip that shows you the margins, uh, minimum margin space. So make sure you set those right. So for this one, for example, if I went to here to the letter, it'd be 0 0.12 on top and bottom, and this is zero. So choose uh, the one that makes the most sense for you and you can choose auto expand um, to make sure it fills top and bottom so I'll do that set my orientation and click OK now in Lightroom there's a zoom to fill option which will fill the whole page um, but that'll distort your image so if you don't want that behavior then turn that off It'll keep the correct aspect ratio and not clip off as much. Uh, it'll just basically fit the page and it'll rotate to fit your page. Um, margins here, the minimum value will be whatever you chose uh, over in your page setup for your paper type, whatever it allows. It's zero. I always slide mine down to zero and I slide my cell size. I can impact how my image prints using that. I generally set it to uh, fill the page. And then for print to, I want to choose the printer option. Print resolution, I want to be 360 for my Epson printer. If I've pre sharpened my image, then I won't do this, but if I haven't, then I'll usually choose the glossy type. And then I'll do low standard to high, depending on how much print sharpening I did, uh, creative sharpening I did. Uh, Generally, if you have heavily creative sharpened it like this one, I'll choose low or none. Um, if I haven't done much sharpening, then you can usually handle high. 16-bit uh, output it doesn't really have a big impact on the final result, but why not? Um, for the profile, uh, your profile may not be listed. And I'm going to go ahead and go handle all my printers right now at one time. So I'm going to come here and say other. This brings this completely useless little dialog up. I'm going to expand it out to fill the screen. And I've got a lot of printers, so it's going to take me a few seconds here to find all my paper profiles that I need. So let's start up at the top. And we're going to look for our Epson profiles. Okay, we're into the 3880, and here's Premium Luster Photo Paper. So for my 3880 printer, I'm going to choose that one. For my 4900 printer, uh, if I'm printing on sheet paper, uh, then I choose uh, Premium Luster Photo Paper. If I'm printing on rolls, then I'll choose Photo Paper 260 for my 4900 printer. And then when I get down to my SPR3000, this is our Epson R3000, um, I choose Premium Luster. And then I choose OK. And now those profiles are conveniently located in this menu. And since we're dealing with the uh, R3000 uh, for this first one, then I'll come down and choose that value. I'll choose relative as my rendering intent because that usually works well for me. Perceptual um, if render relative didn't work for you. Uh, printing adjustments, if your image is printing a little dark or you know it's going to print a little dark, you can brighten it up a little bit uh, using these adjustments. And I usually don't use them because I usually uh, have my image set for that already. And then I choose File Print. Um, again, make sure all my settings look correct in here uh, for my color matching should be disabled because I specified a paper profile printer settings I want to make sure that I have my luster paper chosen as my media type 
and I'm using Superphoto 5760, the highest output resolution, and I'm doing high speed. I don't need anything for either of these options, so I'll leave this alone, and I can choose print to print. I actually don't need to print this one today, so I'm going to skip that. If I were doing um, my 4900, or excuse me, let's start with the 3880, I would need to make sure my page set up said 3880. I would need to make sure that, oops, hang on, I have two 3880s on here. Let's make sure I choose the right one. For my paper, I'll choose the auto expand and I'll say borderless, but I can choose whichever one makes sense for my print job. Click OK. Everything else remains the same. Very simple workflow. Just need to make sure I have the correct paper profile. Bam! Hit print. <laughs> Lastly, for the 4900, I can choose to uh, shoot print on roll or sheet with the maximum. Um, and it has a top and bottom that are the same, so it should print in the center. So I'm going to say maximum and say OK. You see that it is going to have a border, so can't help that. Um, then down here, I just need to make sure I choose my 4900 profile. Again, if I was printing roll, then I'd need to choose the correct one for the roll. Hit print, and I'm in business. Oops, just a little check here for my paper handling. Make sure it's uh, set properly to the value that I specified earlier. Printer settings, make sure I'm using Luster. And, oh, excuse me, here's a mistake. Um, to make sure I'm using my correct Epson paper profile. Right, excuse me, uh, printer driver. So this is my 4900. Good thing we checked that one. Okay, so let's come back here. Same thing though. Paper handling. And we're going to say US letter. We're going to say maximum. Printer settings. I like to use my manual feed. Now, again, if you're using roll, we'll use the 260. If you're using the sheet, it's the ultra premium photo paper luster. A little bit thinner paper. I'll check 16 bit output, super photo 280. I'll continue to do high speed so it prints both directions. This tells me what profile I'm supposed to be using, so it's kind of a way to double check to make sure I've been doing the right thing. <clears throat> roll paper settings, if I chose roll, that would be enabled. I don't need to change any of these. <clears throat> and if I hit print, it's going to go to the printer. Away I go. I don't need to do that today. Thank you very much for your time. <clears throat> Please visit ronmartblog.com uh, for paper discounts, reviews, uh, printer reviews, and a lot of great information on printing in general, as well as your uh, topics on uh, photography, photo editing, and more. Lots of great discounts for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.